felt better when I'm feeling sad but Tell me that I'm special even when I know I'm not You make it easy It's easy as one, two, one, There's two, three, only four. one thing to do Welcome to WWN News. I'm Alexander Varsons. And I'm Todd Lester, in for Cole Smith, who's on vacation today. We have a lot to get to today, so let's get to it with our headlines. Okay, the Cocker Spaniel is the May Pet of the Month. The Pink Pony will be the June Pet of the Month. The Webkins World Government is releasing videos on our YouTube account, showing songs that are superficial, self-conceited, and also choose favorites. Here, take a look. some pretty weird videos, especially since Webkin's World is a site for children. Webkin's World government has no comment on their videos and doesn't look like they have any plans to change them anytime in the future. Okay, here are some more headlines. There are some new features in Webkin's World. Webkin's Junior is a new type form of Webkin's for toddlers is this a good idea, or are Webkins just taking it too far with their range of ages? Also new is keychains in Webkins World. Webkins have made almost every accessory out of their products except for keychains, and looks like those are going to be covered now. Finally, the first fish Littlekins will be introduced pretty soon into Webkins World, an exciting new feature. Okay. Recess is now introduced at the Kinsville Academy, and it's pretty controversial because you have to go through a grueling 45 classes before you get even one chance to go through recess. You have to take three full classes a day. You don't have to pass them, but you have to at least get three, and for 15 days in a row. Is Kinsville Academy going a little bit overboard with their funds? I think so. Finally, the trading cards game is finally back in the tournament arena after a break for some technical difficulties. It looks like it's all set and ready to go now. Okay, now over to Kayla with Hello, the weather. YouTube viewers. Here is the weather. It's pretty cloudy out and it's a little, there are some chances for a little bit of showers, but it should calm down before the weekend. It's a little bit mild in the um, mid to upper 50s. We might reach 60 to 65 degrees on Saturday and Sunday. And make sure to wear your sunblock because even though it's cloudy, the sun is peeking through just a little bit. Remember, it's mild out right now, about... 54 degrees. That's our latest read. Okay, um, I'm Kayla. When this is the weather, back to the front desk. Thanks for that awesome weather read, Kayla. I hope the weather's nice over the weekend because I have some plans. Yeah, me too. Now over to Maxwell with the sports. Hey everybody, it's Maxwell. And too bad the Shelts are out, but they did a good long hard fight. I'm voting for Cavaliers in this one. Cavaliers and Magic. Oh, uh, the, the, the Magic is leading over Cavaliers by one, sorry. And, uh, I'm voting for the Cavaliers. I think they can come back. Let's go, James. Let's go, LeBron. 23. Okay. Well, now over to Sam Scary with the horoscope. Hello, everybody. I'm Sam, and today we have a general horoscope. Overcome your fears before they overcome you. Back to the front desk. Thank you, Sam and Maxwell, for those great reports. Now we have a special WWN feature for our viewers. We have two WWN reporters covering a huge scandal in the Webkin's World government. Apparently, the mayor of Kinstown has been caught in a huge money scandal, scamming 
Um, many people in his town, especially officers, out of huge amounts of money to benefit only himself. He hasn't shared any comment, and the only thing we've ever heard out of him since the scandal was dug up was that he says he didn't do it, but who is going to believe him? We have Coco Brown and Carmen Santiago standing by with the latest details. We'll go to Coco Brown first. Here she is. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Alexandra and Cole. I'm Coco Brown. Right inside the Webkin's World Federal Court, we're just inside this room behind me, the ca trial case for the mayor of Kinstown, Bobby McMillan, is being prosecuted by the district attorney of the county because of a huge, huge scandal that just began to unravel last week. Apparently, the, pros the d district attorney says that um, Mr. McMillan scammed money out of many of the police officers and their families to benefit him in many ways. The district attorney has a list of many things that McMillan allegedly bought with this stolen money. Um, one, many of them are um, new televisions, brand new carpets and wood flooring in his home, just many things that um, would benefit only him. And um, Mac, uh, Mr. McMillan has been serving the government in Webkin's world for over 15 years, so this coming out of him is very surprising. Um, so we're, we're very excited about this, and as soon as we get more details about the verdict of this case, we'll come back to you. Now over to Carmen Santiago with many more details, and even um, his um, Mr. McMillan's wife as um, a witness and also an interview. It's a very good interview. You see my full interview with Mrs. McMillan on a separate video on the John Arnold Productions homepage. I'm Carmen Santiago. Thank you. Hello, Alexander. It looks like Webkin's world is falling down fast. Scandal after scandal, from the YouTube video scandal to now the corrupt government. It looks like this is going to be the final few, maybe even weeks of Webkin's world. Yeah, it's pretty depressing. I don't know. I think Webkin's World has always been able to come back up from this, and I think they'll be able to fight for this. Okay, we have one last segment for you, and it's Julie Etch with one little message from our fashion. Hello, everybody. I'm Julie Etch, here in the crowd. Alright, I have a few announcements for you, but the biggest and best one is my first one. There is a king costume coming soon to fashion stores everywhere in Webkin World. Are you all excited? Great. Okay, a few announcements. First of all, we have yet another scandal in Webkin World. Apparently, Persephone the leader of the fashion in Reckon's world is was caught cheating on her husband. Gas, gas, whoa. And so there's going to be a huge controversy over that and even maybe some divorce claims. We don't know what's going to come out of that soon, but um, yeah, so that's another scandal. So like Alexander said, Webkin's world is falling fast, very fast, and hopefully the government and even some of the very good mentors can keep Webkin's world afloat for all the people that know and love it. Well, that's my announcements. Back to the front desk for our goodbyes. Yeah, everybody, I had a great time. This is great stuff, good news, and we'll be back to wrap up that Persephone scandal the many other scandals in Webkin's world to see what happens. Um, I'm Alexandra Varsons, and I'm Todd Lester, in for Cole Smith, who will be back next episode. Um, we'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye. Bye, guys.